Yo, my name is Benjamin, and in this video, I'm excited to introduce two new properties that unlock new types of navigations in Framer. So let's dive right in. Here in our demo project, we have a simple navigation component with position set to fixed and it's pinned to the top left and right edges. We'd like this to become a side scrolling navigation on mobile. And you can see that we already have a gradient that fades out the overflowing links. If we preview this, we can see that nothing is scrolling just yet. So let's dive into the component and make this a scrollable navigation on a mobile. We don't have nor will need any variants in this component. We only turned it into one for reusability purposes. Let me quickly walk you through the setup here. First, we have these two small gradient layers at the opposite ends, and they will overlap the links on mobile, indicating that this is a scrollable navigation. Next, we have this bar that contains the logo and the title. And below that, we have a stack with our links. And this is the layer we want to make scrollable on mobile or whenever the links overflow. So with this layer selected, we can head over to the styles menu in the property panel and add one of our new properties. We now support the overflow X and overflow Y properties, unlocking new types of navigation patterns. So here we can add the overflow X property and make sure it's set to scroll. A second new property that we added is the scroll bars property. And this one allows you to show or hide the scroll bars on any given layer. So for our horizontal scroller here, we can set it to hide. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We can now go back to the homepage and preview our phone breakpoint. And using a trackpad, we can validate that our menu is horizontally scrollable and no scroll bars appear. And this pattern works especially well on mobile devices. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more navigation updates coming soon.